and definitely that's not how you hold a milkshake you don't hold it like that so we have to go take some reference pictures look at how cute this is this is the um enamel pin that is coming with the package if you choose that so i'm having an incredibly hard time coloring this like i act like i don't know how to color like when i'm trying to go in and paint i guess you really can't see it but it just doesn't i don't know it don't look right it, the colors are muddy in and all of that and when i tried to do lineless it was just taking like way too long <laughs> i don't think i have the patience for it honestly but i don't know it kind of looks good i guess and i really don't have the patience for that like i really want to paint it but my paint isn't looking too good i don't know i think i'm gonna go ahead and just uh do the enamel pen and take a break from that because I, I really don't know what to do with it I'm obsessed with enamel pins now um I'm constantly looking for some because I wore my first um pin on my jacket to match my outfit I was like oh I, you done started something now I done, I done started something now because it's like an accessory to me and I'm just like oh, I need every I need a lot of them I need all of them so they can just match my outfit. They're so cute. Oh my gosh. Like I've been looking at them. Just they're just sitting there. And I've been looking at them. And I'm like, I need to go somewhere so I can wear this. I need an occasion. Okay. I need an occasion. Okay, so I've been scrolling for a while and I could couldn't really find anything that I wanted. Um Shadow's hair is kind of gonna be like this. I was looking for more of a um mafia bad boy style like slick back mm, i don't know i think we'll we'll figure something out but i do like this so we're just gonna say that just because now i'm now i'm gonna look up for sonic and see what i can find on him Cause for him, I'm thinking medium. This looks like, this kind of looks like something Sonic would wear a little bit. I don't know. Ugh, I'm not even looking, it's not even coming up for Sonic anymore. I'm just looking at hairstyles now and being like, oh, I can put this in the bank. Okay, so from doing those little sketches, I realized that I already love Shadow's hair the way it is. 
but Sonics, it can change. I like, um, like this. I like the idea that I have for his hair. But, uh, yeah. Shadow's gonna stay the same, but I'm gonna turn to Sonics because I don't really like this. Okay, I really like what I got so far, but now I'm thinking about something. Okay, since Sonic Sonic's hair is more human-y and, you know, his is, you know, in between, does it look weird? I really like his hair, but the thing is, is how functional will it be? Like... Like, I don't know. I'm going to go ahead and kind of scribble, kind of scribble and sketch a little bit over here to see if his hairstyle is like functional. Uh, and like all angles. So I'm going to do that. Okay, yeah, see, I really have to get another cord. Anyway, I think the thing that I'm going to do now is work on his mouth a little bit. Um, make sure this side of his, like, little blushies are showing. And then I think I want to work on both of their hands. Like, that hand is over there. It's fine, I believe. But, you know, these are showcase. So, mm, I want to make sure they look pretty good. Um, other, other than that, I think everything else is fine, and I should be done after that, and then I'm going to work on the enamel pins, but you see that, you see how it's just going, oh my gosh, I'm, I'm not even touching it. <laughs> okay, so I ended up sending off, uh, an inquiry last night, and I got a couple back. And, um, I ended up going with a different company off of, um, Alibaba. I just kind of just went through and searched, um, acrylic charms and stuff and emailed a whole bunch of people to see which one would be, like, the easiest to do and the, uh, price and stuff like that. So, with this one that I'm going with, uh, they told me not to flip the image, so right now... Oh dear. Um, so the problem is, is that on Sonic, he has a S on his jacket. So I think I'm just going to put three rings on there because, you know, when you flip it, the S is going to be backwards. So it's like, eh, uh, no. So I'm thinking the three rings would be fine. I mean, it would be great practice for everything. I don't know if I want to do an enamel pin or do I want to do, or just like do a sticker sheet, you know? Cause like I feel like it would be nice to have an enamel pin, but then again, it's like, well, you already have a charm, but you know, some people might, you know, I I think I should go ahead and do the enamel pin. I'm waiting for um another manufacturer to email me back with the price with a quote with the quote, and um I'm just seeing which one I want to go with. This is like eleven eleven. I stayed up last night to like two something like messaging back and forth with suppliers and I'm just kind of tired because now I really don't wake up with an alarm clock like I just kind of wake up I just let my body wake up naturally and just hey you get all the sleep that you need and like I just kind of hope that normally I get up at around eight sometimes I get up at like five to six o'clock either or is fine with me but today i think i got up around 9 30 because i was tired i feel like i might want to go fix me some coffee or something i don't know i got apple juice then i'm just going to drink some apple juice Okay, so I just got a package in the mail and I'm opening it carefully because last time we split open a package 
we messed up the backing card. So, learn my lesson. Unbox it carefully. Because I had a pen that came in and I didn't, you know, I didn't really think that there was going to be something at the very, very top. So, I kind of just, I just like, pshew, and then it ripped the backing card as well as like a little print. And I was upset. <laughs> I was like, did at least I learned my lesson. Be patient. <laughs> okay. Oh, that is so cute. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna change the position. Ow! Knock my ankle off. Okay, can you? Okay. Look at how cute that little sticker is. Ugh, I don't want to mess it up. You know what? You know what? I got scissors. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I have scissors. I can do this. <laughs> and we can keep it. You know, I had, um... Just got through watching a little bit earlier before I started to work. I got through watching um, the newest episode of Star vs. the Forces of Evil. And you know, I kind of got mad because <laughs> Romulus was just being mean. And really, he, uh, ooh, Romulus was, was being mean to Eclipse and just saying stuff about her monster husband. And I'm just like, Romulus put a spell on YouTube you be talking to me like that first of all um get over it <laughs> second of all free her husband free him now and then I thought it was super hilarious how she was like he wouldn't even eat a human um uh with a side of ranch I thought that was hilarious okay enough about that let me show you guys what I got okay this is some cute wrapping paper, too. Ooh, this is a pretty big book. I'm going to keep this wrapping paper because I may, can, I might can do something with it. See, this is why I don't need stuff because I always hoard things. I'm, I'm a freaking little hoarder. Okay, um, I just have a thank you. This is super cute. And here is her information. Her name is Martia, I believe. Definitely keeping this with the sticker. And here's the sticker if you didn't see it. Come on, little guy, focus. There you go. Isn't he cute? Look at that. I'm definitely keeping that. I have a, um, I have a whole, um, thing where I keep um thank you and business cards and um packaging stuff if i can keep the stickers i will and i put them in here just because i don't know <laughs> i like keeping stuff okay oh this is super cute i got um her charm oh yes yes we put it in a bag oh this is super cute we have her Orion charm. And this is a three inch charm with a little um, star. And it just comes with a silver um, round key ring. And it is double sided. Oh, that's sweet. Okay, so yes, this is a pock. Oh, okay, so yes, this is the epoxy side. And then this is like the regular side. And from the epoxy, it's just more rounded. The epoxy is more rounded and gives it like a smoother finish. And then um, the non-epoxy is just like slick. So this is cute. I'm definitely hanging this. Definitely hang this little palm a little wall up there. So I'll do that in a minute. 
because like I like seeing how other artists package package their things and um I like to see how other artists packages package their things so I can take like a reference. <laughs> I think this is super cute. Look at how cute that is. Let me give you guys a close up. Okay. So that's a little key ring. And now we have our sketch log number two. Hmm. I also like to keep these bags just in case like like I also reuse these bags. Okay, I need to move some of this stuff so we can have a full have a full view. Okay, so this is her sketch log number two, and I'll just do like a pan shot. Uh -huh. Ooh, okay. All oh, these are super cute. Look at the. <laughs> this is super cute. glad that this came in before I ordered my charms though because now I can see how the epoxy is and I can see what the regular one is so it is hanging right here I got him in the other day I believe my little Anubis pen that I was that I was wanting Just want to make sure it's it um yeah i really like this bag i'm keeping this too <laughs> see now i'm thinking because i could put them in these bags or i could make backing car i, I, I want to see what i can do with them actually because this is pretty cute but like it's a little too cute you know I don't I don't know like I don't know if it matches with my brand or whatever like my brand is kind of dark <laughs> and I we could do black we could do black we could do like black velvet or something I don't know uh, I'm gonna do like a whole video where do I need to put this I'm going to do a whole video on like my packaging and like branding and all that stuff um as soon as i get like everything in and bef like after i open pre-orders and before i start like packing i'm gonna do a whole video on packing i need to get better <laughs> i need to get better Ugh, and i need to sketch too i need to sketch my original characters like i'm just neglecting them so after this whole project is done and over with i think i'm going to just focus on them until october because october i mean i think this is really only the fan thing that i'm doing everything else is probably going to be original because the reason i'm just doing this right now is because i'm just really into the ship i'm also into the ship of alvaros and Viren right now that's just i mean I'm trying to experiment with like my packaging or whatever 
this is um stuff that i got from other artists and i was just thinking like i uh instead of doing the business card i would like to do the square for my enamel pens and i know my enamel pens will probably only be 1.25 inches or 1.5 inch like that's kind of the size that i would like to go for because i like how these look and so this charm is three inches and i'm wondering i seen some of these bags on ebay and i was trying to see exactly how let me get my ruler out exactly how um how big this is because i found some that were three by four so let me measure this this is about three and a half by four and a half this is a three and a half by four and a half so let's see if we put this which is a two and a half yeah two and a half card in here will it fit yes it will fit now how much can i put in here though and remember that or and i'm definitely going to put like a protective sleeve over it so i'm wondering if i also put like if somebody orders a charm in an enamel pen it'll fit basically what i'm trying to do is i'm trying to save space and also money with all the packaging like i really want my packaging to be like versatile like yeah i can use these to package um pens and charms if somebody buys it like if somebody buys both and i think that would be great for um i think it would be awesome to do that for the zine that's coming up to put the charm and the to put the charm and the enamel pen in it at the same time because honestly i don't really want to do backing cards for charms like that's something that i can you know i want to do backing cards for these but not for the charms that's just that's a lot so i was on the verge of like scrapping the enamel pen idea for the zine but I got to thinking like, oh my gosh, how great and cute would it be when people like order the charm and the pen together, the packaging, right? The packaging. So I was like, oh, I don't really want to like mess it up, you know, but I'm not exactly, I was happy at first with the design. I don't know. I just, I don't know. I don't know what I'm feeling right now. It's just, I'm just not feeling it. So I'm going to sketch I'm gonna look at like pictures of chows and stuff and I'm gonna just just sketch and see what I can come up with. Something that's cute, that's worthy of being a pin. And we'll just see. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just gonna sketch some stuff. Okay, so I went ahead and sketched out a little something, something, and I think I pretty much like it. Um, I'm going to fix up the sketch and do the backing card. Okay, so this is what I came up with for right now. Um, until I get the pens in, I'm not going to print this out or anything because I'm still 
wondering about the color like does the background color match with the pins so until they come this is just it <laughs>